Hello Internet, it is Sunday, May 4th. Welcome back to the vlog. Happy Star Wars holiday, everybody! I hope that you are enjoying this most auspicious of days and that you're having a good time watching the movies or doing whatever it is that you do to observe Star Wars Day. And if you are not an observer of Star Wars Day, I hope that your Sunday is rad. So Internet, today's video idea comes to you from none other than Will Wheaton and his Will Wheaton Project, which will be which will be premiering on the Sci-Fi Network at 10 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday, May 27th. You should watch it. It's going to be awesome because Will Wheaton is awesome, and that's just math. Uh, so one of the things that they're hoping to do on the Will Wheaton Project is to animate and share stories of people's first encounters with greatness or celebrity, because those things aren't always the same thing. Uh, and I thought that for my submission to this project, more information about that will be in the info bucket, uh, I would tell you guys about the time that I met Will Wheaton, because it seems fitting, and because it's hilarious and horrifying, and, and it makes for good video fodder. So uh, that's what we'll be talking about today, uh, right after this um, jump cut. Right! Okay, so the first time that I met Will Wheaton was when Wootstock toured through Portland a few years ago, back when Wootstock used to tour. Remember that? That was fun. Uh, I don't know what they do in San Diego each summer, but when they came through Portland, they did a meet and greet after the show, and they set it up to be sort of like a convention type booth where you wait in line for a really long time to get good and nervous uh, before you meet the person that you came there to meet and to say the things that you've been hoping to say for forever. And it was kind of fun. Waiting in line with nerds is always a good time because you make new friends. And I remember meeting Paul and Storm and that going well. And I vaguely remember meeting Adam Savage and, and saying something about Grey's Anatomy. I, it, it's all kind of faded away because right after meeting Adam Savage, I met Will Wheaton. And he was right there. He was just right there, just like a normal person. He was right there. And it was my chance to say all of the things that I've been waiting years to say, like how much his blog meant to me, and why I started reading it in the first place, and what a great influence he had been on my own writing, and I opened my mouth and said, oh my god, you're right there. Which is, which is not the worst part of the story. And he said, yeah, thanks for coming out to our show, it's really great to be here, what's your name? And no kidding, everything in the universe just went, and I just stared at him, and I just went, <coughs> uh -huh. and the person that I was with leaned in, after letting me dangle for a few minutes, leaned in and said, her name's Erin, and I went, yeah, Erin, uh? and he said, well, it's very nice to meet you, Erin, and I said, I'm so glad to meet you, too. And the person who I was with, bless his heart, tapped me on the shoulder and said, tell him how long you've been reading his blog. And in the worst, little kiddest, mousiest voice that I have ever heard come out of me, I said, six years since 2004. And to which Will Wheaton said, wow, that was a long time. Thanks for reading me for that long. And I went, yeah, I'm really, really, I really like your blog. It's, it's so inspirational to me, and, and I love that you blog. Okay, bye! And I turned to flee, but there was a line of people waiting to meet the rest of the performers in Woodstock, so I had nowhere to go. And the person I was with said, no, wait, don't leave yet. Let's take a picture. And Will said, yeah, sure, we could take a picture. Here, lean in with me so we can both be in the shot. And so we both leaned in for this picture. And someday I will put this online again. It's somewhere deep within the recesses of my blog. Uh, and you can tell that I am terrified. And I'm making this awful, awkward face. And he, of course, is smiling like a pro that he is. Uh, and then the picture was over. <laughs> There's like this blank spot in my brain where I'm like, I remember the picture being taken, and then I was fleeing. Like, I didn't stop to wait for the person that I was with. I just turned and wanted to run, but there were more people to meet from Wootstock who were great. I met Hank Green and geeked out over his enunciation. Uh, and I don't really remember much after that until I got home. But that's my story. That is the story of how I met Will Wheaton. And it is horrifying and embarrassing. But I am glad to share it with people because, you know, now, maybe when you're nervous to meet somebody that you're excited to meet, you will think about me and go, well, at least it won't be that bad. And there you go.
Uh, and, um, sure, another jump cut! Wee! Go! Jump cut, go! So that's it for me today, Internet. Thank you as always for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for letting me share that story. I would like to tell you that the few times I have met uh, Will since then, I have been less awkward, but that would probably be a lie. I don't know. I'm too scared to ask. Uh, if you would like to contribute your own video to this project, there is information on how to do that over at willwheaton.net. I will link to the specific blog post in the info bucket. Uh, you should definitely go check it out and share your own story. Make sure to watch the Will Wheaton Project on May 27th at 10 p.m. on Sci-Fi. And... Oh, right! Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Follow me on social media. All that information is in the info bucket, as always. Uh, and that's it for me this week. I will be back sometime before the end of next week with something else to talk about. Thank you as always for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great rest of your Star Wars holiday or someday. Uh, and yeah, see you later. Bye.